So, uh, I am also from Johor. I hated the idea of uh, after SPM to go to Singapore. So, basically, Johorian for Johorian, Singapore is like just another state. Lah. So, we don't really, really appreciate Singapore that much. So, I hated the idea of traveling by causeway and walking. Then, uh, from a uh, from a like 100% Indian family from Malaysia, our biggest dream any Indian parents will have on their child is from only if you are an Indian, you are an Indian child, you finish SPM, you cannot think about other professions. You are only allowed to think about five professions. I call it Delta professions. <laughs> Doctor, engineer, Lawyer, teacher, accountant. Anything you think beyond this circle, uh, surely you'll get hantam. <laughs> your uncle will come, your pachi will come, your fathers, fathers, then everybody will come and give you very good advising. <laughs> and throughout my, my uh, examination, uh, I scored only six A's. So two A in UPSR, Two A's in PMR, two A's in SPM. So can you imagine how much of, uh, how many hours of uh, lectures I would have gotten from the family. So I just want to share the real, <laughs> my journey, uh, here and there a little bit from my journey. And uh, after the session, like uh, Matt will ask, uh, who got the burning uh, question? Please don't ask me what is your future plan, uh, what is your like uh, dream, I don't know, I don't have, I'm a Malaysian, come on. But one thing I know, lah. I know that whatever we are up to, we should not give up. That one I know for sure. This is me. So, but it is a very big privilege to speak here and then I will share with you why. So, I am going to share to you a roller coaster journey of myself. Uh, I call myself Chegolan and I don't know lah how I came with that, uh, that name suddenly in one seminar we hosted. My real name is Tain Mugilan. Mugilan. I used to like, uh, you want to remember uh, my Chinese name, uh, I used to like, uh, my school friends used to bully me. There was a name, the movie called Kwa Mulan, you remember? <laughs> the girl who disguised herself to become an army. Uh, my Chinese name is Mu Chi Lan. Uh, so, when, so uh, coming back to that five professions, uh, I was forced to study law. I end up the biggest the, the sad part was I like I did fairly well in the law like two years in KL and then my university offered a scholarship kind of thing. I went to the interview. I just like went to six rounds of interview just to talk. I don't know why the uh, white guy speak to me. They gave me a scholarship. Then they sent me to London to study. <laughs> then I said, oh happy la to go to go to London free, okay. Then I went to London, I studied there for like two years, then I came back. Wow, Indian from London. Wow, you know, <laughs> that, kind of, that kind of like huh? happiness. Another, oh, another shocking part of my life, I received an invitation from then government to be part of Prime Minister's office in charge of education. More than me, my father was overexcited. Because my father has become a rock star in the town called Ulu Tiram. Because son has went to UK, now coming to our Prime Minister office. Then my father gave me a long lecture of life. Then I thought, okay, Pa, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> I'll go and join. And then from there, I stood up for an election, just like, like Parliament, uh, the major election, we have uh, a special uh, youth program for. Uh, youth as well by the Ministry of Youth and Sports. I stood there, then everyone unexpectedly, out of 30, I came in top 10, I won the election, I represented my homestead. Then I was speaking about 
caning issue in the parliament during our session. So that time it was like very, very hot, you know, uh, teachers should not get the privilege of caning the student. I said teacher must have the rights to cane the student. You know why? Personal ins inspiration. La. I got too much of caning. So <laughs> people, next generation should also get that kind of caning. Right? <laughs> so I got married to this lovely lady. We were in a relationship for like seven, eight years. Then, unfortunately, I married her. <laughs> okay, it was very, very good. It was the same jovial kind of life. But night may change everything. I'm very sure a lot of you contributed. <laughs> a lot of you contributed. So 9th May, within the 24 hours, I received a love letter saying that your service has been terminated. <laughs> Thank you. So you see at home, you watch all the, all the news update and then you figure what to do next. And being a Malay, typical Malaysian boy that don't have a long dream, ambition, don't know what to do. And that stress that disappointment, waking up every morning by knowing nothing what to do, that has really killed the happy-go-lucky man within myself. I was just married back then. So one of the like personal stress I went through, uh, my owner decided to like chase, uh, but no wrong with her because which landlord will appreciate a tenant that cannot pay the rent. And then TNB came and cut our uh, our electric. That was like very bad. And then uh, we had to delay our parenthood. <coughs> and then this is my mom. Uh, so yeah, I started very happy but I'm uh, getting very emotional. This is my mom. I was like saving money. Uh, we planned for her uh, operation. My mom suffers a severe varicose vein sickness. You know, she can't walk like normal. Our normal 10 steps is like a, is that is a one step. And one day, like six months were going after like this. So then, uh, one day, like my mother, uh, <laughs> my mother, my mother called me. And she said, I am banking some money to you. Then I said, why? No, no, I know you are into hardship. Uh, then my mother, uh, after three months, when I went back to Johor, then only I realized the money my mother banking to us. You know, for Indians, during the wedding, they will tie, tie a, like holy string, it is called Ali. So a married man, a married um, woman will wear this. They will only take that out when the husband passed away. So that is a very sacred thing, you know. You have like a, a chain and then you have the golden kind of thing, some, some equipment. My mother took out that while my father was still around. She gave to my father. They went to like Bank Raya, found like uh, this one and then they sent me the money. So uh, I decided to like give my my life a new perspective. What, one of the things I was like very good at it was making making education creative, you know. So I was working in that. So any kind of um, like teaching methodologies, we can, uh, I was like very good in changing the perspective. So I was doing that in, in, in Prime Minister's office. So we did a lot of intervention programs. And then I met a mentor. I'll share about the mentor eventually. So I went to him. So I, he started to share a lot of like digital marketing, performance marketing. And then after like meeting the mentor, I said, come on, let's do it. Because nothing to lose. So I launched my BM online tutoring through Webina. God was really, really kind. We really know, we don't know like, what life has for us. You know, my first online campaign, I launched to teach people. 
22,000 students registered for my webinar and then 8,367 students paid and took BM training from me. The whole seven months journey were like overturned in one and half, one and like 90 minutes webinars. Then, well, I got real shocked because I understood. I, I couldn't figure it out. Blah. So I made my money, first money, by teaching people, which I was doing it for free. Blah. And then I started, then said, eh, SPM. Uh, too much crowded. Blah. Every private colleges is like aiming SPM student. So we did the real analysis and then we, we found out that UPSR has the biggest failing rate compared to BMR and SPM. So about 40% of the students pay, like fails UPSR across Malay school, Chinese school, Tamil schools. And then why don't we write a book? I, I, I wrote a book and then I just, with my finances, I have this, uh, uh, this few sets ready. And it is a privilege to share today and I said, I said privilege and one of the privilege is to like share my story in front of CK because we share a common mentor called Winston. So during the Win session, they, he shared about Oxwhite. So the idea of pre-selling the book actually came from Oxwhite. <laughs> prepared like few sets of this book I don't know how much people are gonna come and I decided this book should be supported by a learning portal but I got no enough money to build the portal so what we did was we created a 21 day kind of exercise book so the child must go and do first exercise second exercise third exercise for 20 21 days straight you know we sell the story uh, you need to like have 21 days to like uh, for your happy to form right so we took that idea we told the parents you know first event we did again crazy so this is our main portal personalized pedagogy we have powerful learning ai powered and as i told you we li i like to change the perspective to change the experience malaysian student hates revising you know why because they are not motivated so how do we motivate them i came out with the reward based learning idea you know what do you like uh, what is the best reward that we can give the child to motivate the child to study on the own any guesses YouTube. money beyond money YouTube. Huh? YouTube. watch youtube watch youtube then one last one rapper huh? <laughs> <Tea life. laughs> i like to do i like to do crazy things i announce the best student from our program will be sent to Disneyland. It became like an overnight sensation into student. And this is a picture from one of our events. And this was the parents' turnout. <laughs> Magic of Disneyland. Ah, and the event, we did, like, we did the free event. And then at the event, when one we finished the event, we like offered our books. We only prepared 100 sets, but we, we could only sell 99 sets lah, because the one set was for me lah, the top room stage. 100 sets were available, but the table rush happened. 400, more than 400 parents are the van and like, went and threatened my team, you know. I brought like undergraduates, two, three fellas, uh, they went and threatened, I want, I want, I want for my child. But because you buy our book, you get our portal for free. So the free portal only, uh, you can go to Disneyland. And then I started another brand. We started to like, um, we started to like venture into Tamil schools. And for Tamil school, 3,000 students enrolled in our, 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 our program. Then sometimes we got sponsorship, we gave out 14,000 free books. Within seven months, we have reached down to 30,000 parents. And we have 
uh, 10,000 students, UPSR only, uh, 10,000 students has enrolled in our our UPSR portal. Okay lah, for seven months. <laughs> We have said we are sending uh, two children, one from Malay school, one from Tamil school to Disneyland. This uh, supposed to send this much, but due to COVID, we postponed it. So they are like flying to Disneyland uh, on on next school holidays, December. Reward based learning, and it was like you got covered in the star. Then Astro, the Tamil morning breakfast show, invited me. They gave like a big hoo -ha. But the most emotional coverage that I had was from real life. At the lowest point of my life, after like I begin my journey, I met Rachel in uh, in like one of the wins event, and then we spoke, and then Rachel like told AJ Chegulan. Do uh, you want to like, uh, you want to share your story in our real life? I said, okay, then I wrote down, this will be like Rachel, thanks a lot. Today only I, I got to know Rachel is also like uh, from Johor Bahru. So I used to like travel her school. Her, her school's guard is very lungsy, you want to know. So any boy uh, go around the school, uh, you like scared, you... But okay lah, I had like uh, like my previous ex girlfriend was my common one big achievement. <laughs> so thanks Rachel. Terima kasih. Thank you. One of the quick conclusions that I would like to share is you will never know what will happen to your life. But if you are in a hardship, if you are like a really sincere, genuine guy. The universe, the God, will send a right help to you at the right time. Believe in that. And then, this is the guy who like really, 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 really mentored me, inspired me. Then, last year, like within our community, there was like a prize giving ceremony. CK is also there. So, so I like another push for my life is this. So the seven months from a man who like had a very good career, I lost the career, too much of disappointment, detection, everything like every kind of word you want to put in, you can feel free. A lot of tears. Can I share my 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 Five happiness of the year. Yes. Can I? Yeah. So far, okay, right? Huh? There is a famous quote, right? When life gives you lemon, what do you do? Lemonade, right? So during like uh, my year, like whenever I send to my email, I used to put a quote, but I have uh, Malaysianized the quote la. When life gives you limau, do limau ice. <laughs> so, so first, we have reached about 23,000 23, students for these seven months. Mostly, like we have both like premium and premium. And then we obtained three government grants. And uh, sometimes the life is full of like up and down, right? Because of like uh, recent political change, uh, we lost about uh, we lost a sponsorship of like worth seven hundred fifty thousand. So your life went up, and then again because it is a roller coaster. So that was that was a small sad part. But yesterday we received fourth government grant. So actually, after this, you know why? When you became too strong or you became a very good category king in your field, uh, anytime, 
this is a recording, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I hope Rachel can eventually edit some of the part. Lah. The government will like really look to you to spread more messages regardless of any political affiliation. So, third one. We hit a million dollars. Seven million dollars. It's the biggest, largest scheme cepat kaya in the world. You know why? Of course, lah. That is the front end tips of the iceberg. But you know, you went, you will, you will have a lot of serial drama, everything lah, web series, anything, everything you will go through. But for me. I'm lucky my mentor inspired me to become an entrepreneur but I tweaked that, uh, that part to become a, a social entrepreneur so another happy part is <laughs> I'm a Liverpool fan since small I've been waiting Liverpool to leave the EPL Cup this year Liverpool last became EPL champion when my wife was born, uh, 89. So after 30 years, God has a special plan. You know when Liverpool is becoming the champion again? When I am expecting my baby girl. Second one very dangerous <laughs> because then you have to answer people which government. <laughs> now, now we don't know when who will change at what time. You know? <laughs> Again, Richard, later please edit some of it. <laughs> now, even though ISA is being abolished, but still so smart around now. <laughs> In case like you want to like um, uh, you want to have like uh, please do add me in Facebook. You like keep in touch. So when you add me, this is my Facebook page, Chegola Ten Gilan. Please drop me a hi, and you want to like add me in uh, like uh, what Instagram. I call myself Small Billa. S M A L L. B I L L A, please add me so that I could like increase my followers or anything. Well, people, Malaysians, ma, we love free stuff, you know. So please do like add me, <laughs> follow me on Instagram. Who know? If, like, if I grow organically, I will like start selling some shout out. <laughs> some stuff, you know? Yeah, I'm very serious, you know. So, uh, please. Follow me. <laughs> and you, know, you have that passion, that emotion, like to make 2020 a great year. Who want to make a 2020 a great year? Okay. Ibu <laughs> Yawa. make our son Doblo Doblo and our. Trust me, this year, 2020 will be one of the best year of your life if you begin to journey internally you go deeper deeper to yourself and you will really get the superman or any kind of super superhero from you and all the best to you like as a friend as a brother i wish you all the best in case anything you feel like you want to like ask me a question, longer question, except the burning type, burning type of questions, like you can, I'll be like hanging around here until like maybe lunch time, and then actually I came, I was away to India, so I like landed back yesterday in Changi, so like I drove back to Kuala Lumpur because of this lovely lady called Rachel, and today. 
I'll like go back to Johor. I'm based in Kuala Lumpur, but I'm having a break lah now. Because uh, we will be like so inspired to teach the student when you know when the student is very much motivated to learn. So when is a Malay when will be like this Malaysian student to learn? One not that long la twenty-four hours before that. <laughs> so usually we start our program like within like three, four months to the to the students. And all the best, wish you uh, wish you all the luck in the world. You will really do well. Next year with the flying car. <laughs> okay, thank you. Here you go, applause, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone has any questions? No burning questions, Harley. It's like a. Hey, please. Uh, no burning questions. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. Sorry. Yeah. I must ask two questions. Sure. Uh, one is regarding Malaysia Student Council. The most important questions that we have embraced throughout our life. First question. Semua faham. <laughs> Second question, ada apa persoalan? <laughs> you guys have any questions at all? I, I, I think what I got from out of it is, um, I, I, I like how you're always grateful. You know, uh, even your lows, your lows of lows. You know, you've, you've always been grateful. If you guys have any other questions at all for Chigunla, I know, you, I know half of you guys are not taking uh, UPSR. Uh, you know, at this point in time, so no, no questions about UPSR. Yes, sir. Go on. Hey, are we like on time? Yes, we are. We are on time. Uh, I got one burning question. Bro, we can edit it out later. So, did you manage to meet our ex ex prime minister? We managed to meet ex prime minister, uh, then prime minister, then even prime minister in meeting. <laughs> Six ministers attended our event last year. Very good, huh? It is like going to like MACC giving some confession. <laughs> <laughs> I think having this uh, this camera is a really bad idea. <laughs> but I still really appreciate you, honestly. How many more questions? We we can we can give you a few more questions. I, I actually have one as well. Um, you know, like how do you how do you be open to opportunity? Because I know you mentioned you know you you, you don't plan ahead too much. You you just wait and uh, you know see what comes and when it comes you make full use of it. How do you, do you have any tips on, on how to be open to opportunity? Because a lot of times your opportunity comes and we, we were too focused on something else. Uh, what do you do? Because the real situation was, I was too desperate. So what you do, because like, you like, uh, you will know like, honor is like chasing you away. Then you have to like, open up all your auditory skill to the TNB guy to make sure he doesn't cut off the electric again, the water bill, then wife, everything, you need bills to pay, then apa lagi antam la, everything. So, uh, I mean, I quote you la, like Martin Luther King once said, uh, like a real ability of a man is like not during his, uh, like normal, normal time, normal time, it is like during, uh, you, the real like ability of a man is like during the, the time he faces challenges. Right? 